Hello everyone, did you know that modern airliners are actually armoured on the inside of the engine casing? That is, uh, there is essentially a Kevlar compound armour, kind of similar to a bulletproof vest, though thicker and bigger. It's called the uh, turbo fan fragment containment system at least that's what some manufacturers call it it's also uh, depends on aircraft type and so on uh, I'm much of uh, my knowledge is uh, kind of not Airbus specific but I, I know it more precisely about Airbus aircraft because I uh, study aerospace engineering in Germany and so it makes sense for professors to use uh, images for example of Airbus aircraft for examples because it's a European company. I also know somewhat about Boeing aircraft but they're a bit more distant. Anyway, uh, it's the uh, turbofan fragment containment system is essentially a uh, Kevlar compound and it's meant to stop fragments of the turbofan or turbojet in case of a potential engine failure from uh, hitting other crucial parts of the aircraft. Now, of course, it's it doesn't necessarily stop everything. A turbofan or a, the turbojet, especially the turbofan, the fan part, it's actually not that critical, the uh, turbojet, the turbine is really really fast moving so it's really really difficult to stop anything flying out of it in case of a failure but uh, smaller fragments or slower moving fragments can be stopped uh, in some cases there are only really small fragments then in some cases of failure there are bigger fast moving fragments that can't be stopped but at least the uh, bigger field of uh, smaller fragments can still be stopped and uh, even if the bigger fragment uh, leaves the engine that's still some good done and of course that is actually a very because uh, the in case of an engine failure most aircraft can actually still safely fly on and land but of course if uh, fragments of the engine hit some other important part of the aircraft that might be much 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 more dangerous than just an engine failure and uh, the turbojet both the compressor but more even more the turbine part of the turbojet really is at its operating at its very limit often of uh, disintegration that's just uh, it's really precisely calculated and it's very safe still because it's really precisely engineered but it's pretty close to what is physically possible with these material how fast anything made out of this material at this temperature can spin without exploding so uh, there is some risk that in case of an engine failure a uh, compressor or even more likely a turbine disc might uh, fragment and essentially leave the engine pretty much uh, without slowing down because it's really fast so uh, even puncturing through a an aluminium made engine casing won't significantly slow it down but at least the Kevlar structure might slow it down a little bit there has also been a bit of hypothetical talk about uh, actually specially designing that uh, containment system or basically armor to uh, change the path of fragments so even if you can't exactly slow them down much or stop them since it's a Kevlar compound armor and uh, fiber compounds are still uh, in improvement and there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with it 
there are ideas about designing that armor specifically so that uh, fragments that are that happen to be traveling in the direction of really really critical aircraft systems aren't exactly stopped if that's impossible with the thickness of armor but rather slightly changed in their path so they don't hit so critical aircraft system uh but that is really complicated especially since uh fragments can pretty much leave the engine in different directions not necessarily a uh, vertical to the uh aircraft to the engine casing so that's quite a complicated task to design the compound layout to uh, change the path of uh, possible fragments. So for now it's basically just a Kevlar mat that just slows down fragments uh, and it really looks similar to a bulletproof vest. It's just a plastic Kevlar compound, several layers of Kevlar in a plastic basis and it's pretty much sandwiched between two aluminium layers that build the rest of the engine casing. Uh, I hope this was kind of interesting. I'm open to any ideas or questions or feedback and thanks for watching.